Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Myers. Today I want to talk to you about HCL or stomach acid, hydrochloric acid. So many of you might wonder, do I have low stomach acid? Do I have high stomach acid? Many of you who have acid reflux, actually the cause is often low stomach acid rather than high stomach acid. So I want to give you a little test that you can do at home to find out do you need stomach acid or not. And that is simply to get a capsule of HCL. Ours is 650 milligrams of betaine HCL. And what we recommend is prior to your meal, typically a high protein meal, you would take one, one pill of HCL with some water, begin eating your meal, and after about 30 minutes, or certainly by the time you finished your meal, if you don't experience any burning, no heartburn feeling, then you need stomach acid. If you experience heartburn, you do not need stomach acid. So then from there, how do you figure out how much stomach acid do you need? Well, the idea is that you up that pill with each subsequent meal until you feel the burning. And once you feel the burning, then you back off. I've had some patients need to go up to eight to 10 pills. I usually do recommend you stop when you've gotten up that high, particularly if you're not under the care of a physician. So um, if you're under the care of a physician, you can you know, go with their advice on that. But certainly if you're watching this video and trying this at home, um, we definitely don't want you going above that. So then the idea is, is that this stomach acid over time will help jumpstart your own production of stomach acid. And so over the subsequent months, you should be able to reduce the number of HCL pills that you're required. Now, let's just talk about why do we need this in the first place? Well, if you think about it, HCL is one of, it's the main acid in your stomach and it's certainly part of our digestion, but what it's mostly doing is breaking down proteins. So what it does is it breaks down these big proteins into what are called the building blocks or individualized amino acids. Those amino acids then go in and make our muscles, our neurotransmitters, the things that keep our moods even in level. They make our hair and our nails. They make our immune system. So I see people day in and day out coming into my practice. They're already following a paleo lifestyle. They're eating these high protein diets and I test them and their amino acids are in the toilet. And so it's like, how could that be? Well, it's not you are what you eat. It's you are what you digest and absorb. So if you go back to any of my programs where I talk about the 4R program for healing your gut, part of that is removing, which is removing the food and the infections. Part of that is re-inoculating with the good bacteria. Part of that is repairing with things like L-glutamine or our product GI repair powder. And then part of it is, is restoring what is missing. So for a lot of people, what is missing is both digestive enzymes, but also stomach acid. So again, I just recommend for those of you who are curious, maybe having any issues um, with your digestion, thinking your food's sort of sitting there, you're not digesting it properly. Certainly if you have candida overgrowth, small bowel bacterial overgrowth, there is the potential that the reasons you have those infections in part are because you have low stomach acid. So I really recommend anybody in any one of those categories autoimmune, chronic, uh, chronic health condition, small bowel bacterial overgrowth, yeast, um, certainly digestive issues, somebody suffering from acid reflux, that you go ahead and give the little uh, test a try of seeing if you actually need to be replacing with HCL or stomach acid. Take care.